Good evening Philippines, this is Mike Padua and we are back to our analysis for this Friday until Monday, August 13 to 16, 2021 and this brought to you by Typhoon 2000. Let's begin with our update, here's the latest graph set beginning today, Friday until tomorrow, Saturday. The southwest monsoon continues to weaken and it's just a mere southwesterly service wind flow affecting the coastal areas of Ilocos Norte, Ilocos Provinces, as well as the Batanes, Bobuin, Cobo Islands, and the uh, area of uh, southern and western Taiwan. So there could be some passing showers still over these areas, and some choppy waves. While the rest of the Philippine Islands will remain fair with uh, cloudy skies in the afternoon or evening with isolated rain showers and thunderstorms, like uh, earlier this afternoon, the, uh, there was a strong thunderstorm that developed over the uh, vicinity of uh, the national capital region, which brought heavy rainfall, and some reported hailstones or hailstorm across the area. These are small, only very small, uh, uh, pebble-sized uh, hail that occurred over the vicinity of Quezon City. While uh, across the Bicol region, Visayas and Mindanao, we have a surface trough being some cloudiness with uh, isolated to scattered rain showers and thunderstorms as well. And uh, outside of PAR, we are keeping an eye, uh, as we continue to uh, keep an eye on this uh, tropical cyclone. It developed upon crossing the international dateline days ago, and it's now moving into the northern portion of Micronesia as you can see here on our rightmost screen of our graph set that's 16W and it's already been upgraded into a tropical storm with winds of 65 kph so as of this time it's moving westward at speed of 30 kph because of the stirring flow of the two high pressure areas to the north of the system so uh, it is likely that the system will approach uh, Guam within the next uh, uh, three to four days. So watch out for some uh, high winds and uh, uh, on enough rainfall if the system passes very close to the northern Mariana Islands where Guam and Saipan is locate are located. Okay, so we're going to keep an eye on that. We're going to explain what will be the effect to, uh, to our country and what will be the forecast of this one later okay so as we look at the fast animation there you go as the afternoon progresses and through the evening we are experiencing some isolated discarded rain showers and thunderstorms all throughout the country there are some areas without any rainfall there are some experiencing heavy downpour because of these localized thunderstorms as the uh, southwest monsoon is currently on a break. And here comes Tropical Storm 16W moving uh, towards the west. And if we look at the zoom in satellite animation for the Philippine Islands, you can clearly see here as the afternoon through the evening progresses, uh, large or strong severe thunderstorms develops as it uh, affects uh, some areas of the Philippine Islands. This is normal since we are in the month of August. We are in the peak of this thunderstorm activity even without tropical cyclones or the southwest monsoon. And uh, if we look at the uh, uh, latest track from the Joint Typhoon Warning Center, uh, you can clearly see here that on day 3 to 4, the system based on the uh, forecast will pass over or very close to Guam uh, that will be uh, in the morning of August 17 okay so that will be uh, Tuesday okay Tuesday and it's likely to enter the Philippine area of responsibility either August 19 or 20 that will be Friday or Saturday so that will be the possible entrance of this cyclone over the Philippine area of responsibility. So, uh, likely the system will be named internationally as uh, OMAIS. And if the system enters the Philippine area of responsibility, it will be named locally as ISANG. So, that will be the local name of Pagasa 
once it enters the Philippine area of responsibility. So this forecast of more than five days is still considered low probability. So we still don't know if it will uh, continue to move its uh, track towards the Philippine Islands, especially uh, the, the long range or the medium range forecast shows it a track towards the uh, extreme northern parts of Luzon or Taiwan. So that is the uh, uh, the uh, potential track within the next uh, 10 days. So it's still uh, far away and it's still uh, more than five days to go. So the track will still change based on what we are seeing at the computer models. Now here's the uh, global model. Uh, Typhoon Global Models on uh, Tropical Storm 16W. As you can see here, this is the Philippine area of responsibility. Okay, I'm going to do it there. So this is the power line. So uh, based on the track, it might enter power uh, around 144 hours. That will be August um, 19 or 20. So that will be the entrance within the Philippine area of responsibility. So uh, the computer models, all of them doesn't agree on what will be the uh, forecast. So the uncertainty is very high as of this time. So uh, we are going to focus yet on the uh, three day forecast. But as we move towards five to 10 days, very high the uncertainty of this system. So uh, let's hope and pray that it will recurve or even miss any uh, Asian landmass. So we will uh, know by next weekend if it will pose a threat to our country. Okay, so that's the latest from the Global Typhoon models. Let's take a look at the rainfall accumulation for the next three days. It looks like generally the Philippine Islands will remain normal. Uh, these are isolated thunderstorms that will occur within the next three days until Monday all across uh, various parts of the zone, Visayas and Mindanao. So don't forget to uh, just bring your umbrellas or jackets, uh, keep it handy, because in the afternoon or evening there could, there could be some isolated rain showers and thunderstorms. And uh, if we look at the uh, wind and pressure forecast until Monday, it will be the same. Surface stuff affecting uh, portions of the zone. And uh, Mimoropa on uh, tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday, and on Monday, it's uh, still some uh, variable winds will be expected with some northeasterly wind flow over the eastern sections of the Visayas. Uh, based on the European model, if we uh, check back the uh, uh, global models, okay, here. The ones missing here is the European model because the European model shows that uh, uh, the system will not intensify and it will just dissipate as it moves towards the Philippine Islands. So let's hope it uh, it happens uh, based on the European model. That's why European model is uh, showing nothing on this tropical storm. But uh, if we look on Friday, uh, this Friday, the storm is still there, but the next uh, three days it will uh, weaken into a uh, tropical wave or surface trough as it moves closer to uh, the northern Mariana Islands. Okay, so that's the uh, forecast on the uh, tropical storm 16W. And we will give you more update next week, Monday, to give you uh, the latest on this tropical storm and the weather situations across Asia Pacific. Again, from Typhoon 2000, this is Mike Padawa reporting. Stay safe always. Be hashtag WeatherWiser. Happy weekend to all. And thank you so much for watching our channel.